colors in the same order. First, I'm going to use the gold, then the green, and twin. I'll use the blue. But before that, I applied a little bit more of eyeshadow print. Now we're going to go back with the purple and we're going to blend. And now I'm going to underline my under eye area and then I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow. Hello guys, good morning. Today I want to do an eyeshadow tutorial using this eyeshadow palette right here by CoverGirl. This is the True Naked Jewels. I was looking at some pictures from Pinterest and Instagram that got me inspired uh, to use this eyeshadow palette because the colors that it has are really beautiful. So um, without too much rambling, let's continue to the tutorial. We're going to start with our face and we're going to start using this. This is one of my favorites. This one is by Maybelline and the name is Instant Age Rewind. And for my T-cell, which is the most oily that I have, especially my nose, I'll be using this one by Wet n Wild. I really like this one. So let's begin. For foundation, I'm going to be using this one by Wet n Wild. This one is a photo focus and my color is cream beige. And we're just going to be stippling. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, my camera died and the battery, I couldn't find it so I had to wait for it to recharge a little bit more so that I can continue. So what's going to be next is going to be concealer and contouring. For concealer, I'll be using this one by Wet n Wild. And for contour, I'm going to be using this one by e.l.f. It's in cream. I meant to say it's a cream formula. And to seal, I'm going to use also these powders that are by e.l.f. For my face, I'm going to be using this powder. This is by the brand Wet n Wild. And it's in the shade Dulce de Leche. As a blush, I'm going to be using this one by the brand L'Oreal Paris. And this one is in the shade, or the name is Charming. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows with my favorite product. This is the Trio by BH Cosmetics. I went ham with it. <laughs> okay girls, so I already did my eyebrows, so now we're gonna continue with our eyeshadow. The first color that I'm gonna use is gonna be this brown, so that I can use it as a transition color. The second color that I'm going to use 
is going to be this purple eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use these three colors in the same order. First I'm going to use the gold, then the green, and to end I'll use the blue. But before that I apply a little bit more of uh, eyeshadow primer. Now we're gonna go back with the purple and we're gonna blend. I'm going to try to remove everything that fell, which is not a lot. And now I'm going to underline my under eye area and then I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys can appreciate what I did, but I basically did the same thing that I did on the top. I did it exactly the same way. I put blue, green, and gold in, in the inner corner. Now what I'm going to do is apply this mascara by the brand L'Oreal Paris, and it's in the shade Cobalt Blue. But first, we're going to curl our eyelashes. Okay guys, so I'm done with my eyes. Uh, what's next is gonna be the lips. I have these two options. This one is a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade uh, Smoky Rose Shimmer. Or this one by the brand Han. Um, I had never heard of this, but I got it in a BoxyCharm box. And it's healthy and natural. The, according, that's what it says, healthy and natural. The shade is Nude Rose. I don't know if you guys can see, it's tiny, tiny letters. Um, right now, what I have in my lips is just this um, Carmix um, lip balm. So first, I'm gonna try this one. So this is in the shade Nude Rose by CoverGirl and it's really pretty, I like it. But I want to see how it looks with the other brown lip gloss. So let's try it out. So this is how it looks and I really do like it. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that I have to put the applicator inside the bottle like three times for it to like look like this. But it's a nice color. I do I do like it. So the next step is gonna be highlighter. A couple of days ago we went to have a walk to the strip in Las Vegas Boulevard, 
and there was a Ross. There is a Ross right there. So we went shopping and I bought this one because it looks so beautiful. So it intrigued me. So I want to try it with you guys. Before applying the highlighter, I want to spray a little bit of this rose water in this area. And I'm going to be using a combination of these three shades. Wow, it's a little bit too pigmented and a little bit hard to blend. <laughs> Okay, so what I have to say about the palette is that it's really pretty, I like it, but you have to make it work because, okay, first of all, it has an overspray of uh, shimmer because once you put the brush, the shimmer is not there anymore. It's just like an overspray. Once you use it once, it doesn't shine the same way anymore as when it was new. And then also I noticed that it needs help. You need to spray like some type of mist setting spray under it and then put the highlighter on the top so that it shines more. Because by itself it doesn't work like that. Not that good because look at this side of my face. Right here where I put this, the setting spray, it shines a lot. But on the top where I apply, um, it doesn't shine the same like yes it does but it's not like as much as right here where I specifically apply a setting spray the next item is this eyeshadow palette I really liked it this eyeshadow palette is very pigmented it doesn't need any help because when I first applied the uh, purple eyeshadow I didn't apply any eyeshadow primer I applied the eyeshadow primer once I applied the other three colors just because I didn't want to have like a lot of uh, fallout because I remember that I had already done my makeup and then I didn't want it to get ruined but it doesn't need a lot of um, help it works perfectly on its own on its own because it's very uh, pigmented and also I don't remember right now how much it was but I don't think it was that expensive for all of the beautiful eyeshadow colors that it has another product that I really enjoy using today is this blue mascara the name is Colbat blue Colbat I don't know how to say it. Colbat blue by the brand L'Oreal Paris I enjoyed using this because it really leaves your eyelashes blue it's really blue and i think it really complements the eyeshadow look that i did today because of the last blue eyeshadow that i used in the outer corner so i really liked it and i recommend it too okay guys so this is the final result i hope that you guys liked it if you guys did don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye